Welcome to CSC 103 to part two. I didn't think part one would be so long until, <laughs> until I saw how long the video was, but welcome back to part two. I guess I'll just keep that as one video. And what we'll do here is you'll do some things on your own. I'll help you with this a little bit since I know this isn't the most exciting thing and it's late in the semester. But what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna ask you a couple things and it'll be on a sheet. This exercise is so new that I don't even have the sheet yet. So what we're gonna do here for the first question is I'm gonna ask you, how many customers are from Mexico? Now, if I asked you that, how many customers are from Mexico? You would go to the customer table and you'd click on it and you wouldn't have to run this because it's already run for you. But if you'd wanna find Mexico, you could go down here and count them, but you don't wanna do that. What you do is you'd filter all the ones are from Mexico and you remember how to do that. You use the where clause and you filter where the country equals Mexico. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna ask you, how about all the customers from Mexico and Germany? Now, you might think, oh, well, I'm gonna use a clause just like I did for Mexico, and I'll say where country, and you could copy this, equals Mexico, and you might say, oh, I looked up the clause here, they have an and thing, so I'm just gonna use and. And you might just look at this and say, oh, okay, I'll just put in and, and you probably won't read it that well, because this isn't that helpful <laughs> when you look at this. But what you do wanna do when you get back to here, you might think, oh, I'll just put and, and I'll put Germany, that'll be easy enough. And you could try that. Okay, where country equals Mexico and Germany. Then I should get all of them there, how many there are. And if you run it, you're gonna get this, because it can't find any that have Mexico and Germany because they either have one or the other. So they can't have both. None of these are gonna have both. Country is never gonna have both of those in there. That's what it's asking here. So you can put this in here. You can copy this. You wanna put the condition again, because basically you wanna say, okay, we're, we're gonna select all from customers where the country is Mexico and the country is Germany. So let's try that. That won't work either because you're seeing the same thing. You're saying it's and, it can't be that. So it has to be or. So if you put or in here, now, first of all, if you put or without putting country, if you just did that, if you just said, oh, where country is Mexico or Germany. And if you run it, you're only gonna get Mexico because it's only gonna look for the first one. It's only gonna say, okay, let's just find the ones. Okay, Mexico and then done because it only needs to satisfy one of those. So if it doesn't find Germany, it's just gonna find the first five Mexicos or whatever it found and be done with it. So that's why you have to put country equal so that it says, okay, all from customers where country is Mexico or country is Germany. Then it's looking for both and it's gonna find both. And then if you run it, you'll get your answer and then you're gonna get that and you're gonna write it down. So whatever the first one was for Mexico, you wrote that down. Whatever this one is, you wrote it down because you're gonna put these in your comments when you're done. And I have a couple more for you. The next one you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to suppliers and there's only 29. And you're gonna find all the suppliers from Germany. That's all you have to do there. Find all the suppliers from Germany and tell me how many there are. So there's 29 of everybody, but you're gonna tell me how many are from Germany. You already know how to do that. You just have to use a filter and you just have to run the query and you could tell me that. And then if you go to orders, you could tell me what the top five most recent orders were. Remember, you could use order date. That's what you're gonna use for your where clause, the order date, but you're gonna put that in order from descending, if you remember how to do that. So you're gonna order by order date, you're gonna put it in descending order, just to give you a little hint there. And you're gonna tell me, by the most recent orders, you're gonna tell me the customer numbers. So give me the customer numbers of the five newest. For this one, you're gonna find the five newest orders. So that's gonna be order by order date, and it's gonna be ordered by order date. That means you're sorting it by order date, and you're gonna to have to put it in descending order, which is using the DESC keyword. And then if you use limit five, you can get the five top ones, and that's all you can see. And what I want you to do is either just give me the five order dates or give me the five customer numbers, whatever you wanna do. And then for the last one, you're gonna to go to products, where there's 77, and you're gonna tell me the five most expensive products and you could just put the name of the product or you could put the product ID. And it's just like the previous one. So the five most expensive, last time in the first video I showed you the least expensive. Now you're gonna show me the five most expensive. So you're gonna order by price 
and you're going to put it in descending order and you're going to limit it by five just to give you a little hint there and all that information you're just going to put in your comments for exercise 18 when you're done so hopefully you can figure that out if you've sat through the 30 minutes of the first video <laughs> and then watch some of the clues here hopefully you're enthralled enough about the structured query language to be able to figure that out yourself and you know you don't have to stop here you don't have to just do this for this assignment you can have fun with this and do this as much as you want it's a free database that you can go through and you could try out all this SQL stuff with this so just wanted to make sure you do that for your assignment with my SQL and again that's structured query language that you're using and you're basically just retrieving information from a database now we're not inserting elements into a database we're not creating a database we're not deleting elements from a database anything like that we're only retrieving information right now but keep in mind there's many things you can do with a database